Modern society has been teaching men to be emotional and reactive. And this movement has been applauded. Seems like a great idea. Seems like the best thing that has ever been invented is progressive. When you want to cry, just cry. When you're angry, be angry. When you're anxious, be anxious. But little do people know, emotional men who cannot control their emotions are extremely dangerous. People who lash out and give in to urges, give in to sudden thoughts or things inside of them are extremely dangerous. Take away that barrier of self-control is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever heard. Especially as a strong, powerful man. That is one of the worst things I have ever heard. It's time taking on the interstate. And Lord, I hate but it does make sense reason being why they want men to be emotional because it has so many negative consequences but for them it's only positives because the system doesn't want strong rooted men who stand on their belief without fail and aren't afraid of anything because one man could change it all they want you controlled weak feminine and preoccupied with your own demons they want you to lash out when you're angry you're off your mission you're off in another direction you're wasting your energy you're fighting somebody else you don't even know you're not single-minded you're not focused when you're anxious you're being consumed by your own demons you can't fight the good fight when you're fighting with yourself when you can't overcome yourself that's what they want they want people to not be able to overcome themselves because when they overcome themselves what's next well i'm single-minded my conscience is clean i'm not battling against myself so where do your eyes start to point to them of course they don't want that especially as a man they don't want those types of men at all if their system was just and they were doing things properly and not literally enslaving individuals and killing their spirits and yeah, maybe they wouldn't mind they'd be like you know what be the fullest version of you but they know what they're doing is wrong so they want to take out every single man because when he wakes up when god grants him his masculinity back he's gonna look around and be like yeah this isn't okay this is not right and the last thing this system wants is another andrew Tate, a man or a woman who is single-minded aligned all of their emotions are working for them and they have a single focus a single mission they are relentless that is a threat now let me move on from that topic because this is youtube i don't want to get my channel banned before i even start so let's just tap into why men desperately need emotional intelligence an emotional man is a man with a broken compass a man with a derailed path god gave you a mission god gave you a soul focus but guess what derails and destroys that purpose emotions that can't be held under control this is my mission this is my focus oh i'm angry i'm turning this way oh i'm anxious i'm crumbling i'm retreating you need to become the master of your mind and your emotions so you can move towards a goal without fail you need to learn to transmute the energy in life when you're angry you may want to lash out and harness that power for destructive purposes such as destroying relationships self-destructing saying things you didn't mean taking it out on your kid taking it out on your girlfriend taking it out on your parents taking it out on people who have nothing nothing to do with your problems you need to learn to transmute that negative emotion into a specific task that has a positive return if you feel angry use that feel properly go to the gym have the greatest workout you have ever had in your entire life use that rage for something positive use it to your own benefit go on a run attack your purpose like you have never attacked it before use all of that energy that you have gained and put it into a positive outlet something that serves you and when you walk away from it, that bottled up energy will dissipate because it'll be left behind when you went for that run it'll be left behind in the gym it will be left behind in your purpose negative emotions can be fuel sources to break limits overcome limitations doubts fears inside of your own mind to overcome the naysayers you can use it as fuel but be careful because yes this life is spiritual sometimes there's a storm and you got to go through it and you just got to absorb that energy and sometimes you can feel like damn like what is inside of me you feel possessed or something Something weird like you have something that's not of you inside of you because you just went through hell or you just walked through the fire or you just walked through the storm and you're like dang what is this because sometimes you are literally overtaken by things you go through things and you are overtaken you're out on the battlefield and you can't shake certain emotions but do not make it your personality trait overcome a lot of people say tap into that darkness and harness that energy but I follow God so I completely oppose that idea because it's always a short-term victory that 
leads to your own demise over time. If you constantly tap into that fuel source, that anger, that rage to push your craft, to push your purpose, you will look back and everything will be on fire. Relationships will be destroyed. You will be alone. Nobody will like you. It will always have a negative consequence because it's a negative emotion. In times, you can transmute that energy and use it. Because listen, if God favors you, so does the devil. So sometimes you're going to go through something. You may pick up some negative emotion, rage, fear. When you're favored by God. You're also favored by the devil. He's coming for you too. <laughs> so you just got to be strong and stay on the right side. Whose side you going to go on? He's going to give you power too. He's going to get in your head too, but it's whose side you going to stay with. You stay with who brought you here. You stay. You go home with the guy that brought you to the dance. But make sure you always transmute that energy into a positive outlet that benefits you. Don't bottle it up inside because the more you bottle it up and it's not being released or worked out, it will leak into some other aspect in your life. Somebody you may love will get the wrath of that rage and you just may tear things apart because it's bottled up and it needs to be released somewhere. So make sure it's released in a positive place. Learn how to use your emotions for your benefit because as a strong powerful man that is your duty that is your responsibility because emotional men are weak they're dangerous because if I got angry and I just lashed out and I was just screaming at everybody like nah, 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 just letting it leak out of my system that is dangerous if I got angry and I punched somebody that is dangerous that is not what you want transmute 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 there is a fine balance when it comes to being a man masculinity is a gift from God because it's extremely rare you need to be a warrior you need that savage side of yourself because if you're at the front line if you're expanding your territory your domain trying to make progress trying to become successful you will take blows to the head so you need that savage mentality of just going in there absorbing that energy taking the blow and sometimes it's just resistance in your own mind and overcoming programming and limitations inside of yourself sometimes it could be a spiritual battle or you're trying to progress in life and you just need that inside of you but you also cannot be overly savage or have that mentality absolutely consume you where it's your whole identity you also have to have a caring side that protects and loves and you gotta adjust to your environment if you're constantly a savage if you're constantly on everybody's my enemy and I gotta keep growing you're all against me I gotta rise I gotta do this guaranteed relationships will be destroyed and you will be alone and you will scorch the earth and you can continue building that path in the name of chasing a goal in the name of being successful the pathway to hell was paved with good intentions this rare balance of masculinity can only be provided by God, I believe. Because I believe the more you pray to God, the more he molds you into the person that he wants you to be. And that's a very rare, specific type of man. And that's just something you can't figure out alone or do by yourself. But yes, I picked up that wisdom in certain seasons where I was literally overcome by that darkness. I was in fight or flight and I just picked that absolute savage mentality. Not in a dangerous way, but just arch forward by any means. Simply due to chasing goals and becoming obsessively focused which is a good thing, but everything needs balance. But yeah, I was listening to David Goggins daily, cold plunging, and hitting the gym, which I still do. And over time, due to the programming and listening to funk music and hard style continually, just back to back, David Goggins, hard run, suffering, I became overly savage to where the goal was my main focus and everyone was my enemy. And a lot of men think this is the greatest approach of this savage mentality, and it will get you far. But everything needs balance. Like, if you're moving through life with this need to grow with this need to expand that is an energy that is quite demonic i believe and if you continually move down that path yes you may attain some things the devil can bless you as well the more you move down that path trust me there's a trade-off you see it all the time with rappers they blow up they're all laughing everything's great and grand and at the end of their career they're all drained and miserable like there's a trade-off it could be your soul it could be broken relationships it could be a lot of different things so when you move forward with only a savage mentality you are sacrificed sacrificing things in the process. You may lose yourself in the process, say things you don't want to say. When you march forward with just the goal solely in mind and you don't have that balance, it won't be as rewarding, fulfilling, or gratifying when you get to the end of the road. So that balance is important. But yeah, I definitely experienced that because I'm in a small town and I stick out like a sore thumb so it's easier to be judged. The ideas here are smaller and the people have louder opinions.
happens. And it's easy for me to flip that switch on of tuning it all out, using all that energy for my benefit to push through that resistance, turning into a savage where it's flipping everybody off on that David Goggins grinding forward. And a lot of people choose that direction. And tapping into that energy can be useful at times because like God said, there's a time for peace, there's a time for war. And when you're in certain seasons, sometimes you'll just use any power that you can get to crawl, to scratch, to climb. So sometimes it is quite easy to be overcome by Satan. I'm just going to say it boldly, darkness. Sometimes you will go into that power because you're hearing a lot of opinions. You're hearing a lot of negativity. You're hearing a lot of things and you can be overcome to where you use that as your fuel source. It's harder to turn to Christ in those moments, to turn to the good side. Sometimes you're just constantly going, constantly going. I'm tired and I'm hearing all these things and it's easy just to tap into that power oh. straight through all the way. But there is a trade-off. But yes, I just noticed myself I just become way too savage by feeding that side of myself. Relationships don't matter because I don't want to hear limitations or hate. And I don't want to be boxed in by small ideas, etc. So maybe I'm not as kind or saying the proper things that need to be said to rise up the people beside me. When I tap into that mindset, I'm overlooking that entirely, which will have complications over time. So you got to have that fine-tuned balance of being a warrior, knowing when it's time to put on that helmet and feel the blows, and knowing when it's time to be kind, to uplift to motivate and that's a true leader that is something that is very hard to develop that's what i said it's a gift from god because it's very difficult in this world but trust me when you harness that darkness and you use that as energy being overly savage will scorch the earth behind you while moving forwards towards the goal ahead so like i said you need to be balanced and you need to learn how to control it because a true leader sets the tone tunes out negative opinions and leads from the front where he takes all the blows so yes you do need to be a warrior because you need that edge but you need to take relationships and building others up as well into account. Not taking everybody's baggage or being overly caring to where it's harming yourself, but knowing when that side of yourself is needed. Being overly savage is not the greatest route because these are God's people and they may have bad morals and mistreat you, but taking people out and running people over will eventually lead to a correction from God himself, I believe. If you constantly move through life stomping, crushing, mistreating, talking behind people's back, God God will set up a season, God will set up an event where all of that will happen to you and it will be the biggest smack from God. Because every time I've just been overly savage or just tapped into that overly dark side of myself and used it as fuel or energy to move forward, to push the goal ahead, to block out the opinions, to block out everything. And when I channeled it in that way down the road, God will end up humbling me in some way. But yes, if you do happen to go through a season where you are overcome by darkness, now this has many routes I could go with it for starters. If you're not very developed, pray to God for him to pull you out of that situation. And a lot of the times, these events could just shake up our life so we become somebody else. Like, I've had tremendous seasons of just huge downfalls, but I've risen up so far from them. And I feel like God was just shaking up my world so I could become somebody new. And when you ask for strength, God will put you through hardship. When you ask for wisdom, God will give you things to solve. So God doesn't really operate the way you think he does. So when you're in a season of darkness and you're new to all of this, just pray that God can help you through it. But if you're over Overly developed, transmute it into a positive, because sometimes you may be overcome. Transmute that energy into your craft, in the gym, in your purpose, in your run. Because if you don't, that energy needs to find an escape. And it will trickle its way into your relationships, ruin all your relationships, or wherever else you dish out that negative energy. Take a step back, meditate, pray to God, and transmute. Because an uncontrolled, angry man can destroy everything and completely self-destruct. And that's extremely dangerous. Like a man needs to know his role and the impact he can have on his environment and his surroundings. That's why I lean into God or tie my videos towards God because he's the only thing that corrects that corruptness inside of us and who can fix those scorching emotions inside of ourselves. He's really the only thing that can level you up through stages of development. He's really the only person who could mold you into that being. I can give you direction. I can give you insight. But I believe this all comes from God. But yes, I need to work on my emotions as well. That's why I'm making this video because I had a season where I was listening to way too much David Goggins doing way too many cold plunges and just turning into some cold emotionless being and I don't mean like a psychopath like I wasn't disrespecting anybody but just the way I was operating I could tell that the energy I was harnessing was not from God <laughs> and I just had no consideration for emotions at all. It didn't matter. It was just all about the goal and I don't really believe you have a soul if you're overly in that warrior stage 
or overly in that savage mentality. That's not even a proper man. You gotta know when to turn it off. Because as a man back in the day, what would you do? You would leave camp, you would go off to war, you would do your thing, take the blows to the head, and you would come back, take off your helmet, and be a caring, charismatic man with good stories who uplifts everybody, completely turns that side off. So you gotta realize when you're outside of camp, and you gotta realize when you're inside of camp. You gotta learn when to turn it on and when to turn it off. But yes, us as men, we need to be vigilant and harness those destructive emotions into beneficial things because Satan can creep up into every single vessel, but make sure that energy is harnessed and transmuted into something good. And listen, maybe the reason that is happening with myself is because I'm not overly connected with God all the time, and that's my fault because I do realize when I'm with God, meditating on his word, building myself up, it doesn't really happen. That is something I got to develop and work on myself. Growing up myself, I was overly emotional. I grew up with a single mother, all sisters, and there was no father figure to instill that other side of myself so I was emotional and kind of just acting like a woman. And as a man, you need that duality. A woman want to say, oh, well, the man's part doesn't matter when you're raising a kid. And guys will bash on women, oh, a woman's part doesn't matter when it comes to raising a kid. And that's just a lie. You need the duality of both. You get the confidence. You get the disciplined, hardworking, warrior, unshakable mindset from your dad. But if you just had a dad, you would turn into a cold, savage person and you wouldn't be loving. You wouldn't have that tender side of yourself. So if you just have a dad and there's no good mother beside him, well, now you're just a cold, scary dude. So as a man, you also need a nurturing, loving mom so you can become a complete man. You know when it's time to turn on that warrior side of yourself and you know when it's time to be love to be kind and you get that from your mother you get the other side from your dad so you need the duality of both to become complete but anyways that's this video i'll see you guys in the next one i ain't spotless neither is you but once in my life i'm gonna see it through if you want spotless i'll always lose i don't want love lover i want the truth